Alrighty. Yeah, since um since I'm dividing these up now, I guess that's where I say Hello, goodbye, and hello again, and welcome back. We're still on this day. Whatever day this is at this point. And we are doing things. Whatever things we're doing at this point. Uh, I guess I, uh... I didn't really examine everything. Oh, that's right, there's even that whole... Okay, yeah, we got... Oh, wait, wait. No, never mind. I thought that was another, uh floating on top of the world object. Let's go check out by the tracks. I mean, we just came from there, but or, or about up uh, by the uh, by the by the food donkey. The food donkey where things sometimes happen. Oh, hi, Angus. Talk to you first. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror selection. Nice. You got a favorite? What? Horror movie? Yeah. Black Oaks. Oh, nice. Witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell. And scary. Yeah, that one's like historical. The witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye. Possibilities we will never forget. Hello, new character. Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, ha. Huh. Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. Ha, <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity. But yeah, sure. <clears throat> Let's see. What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, depends on the situation, you see. Like, would you dig through the wall or, like, attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or, like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Huh. What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick... You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? The laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. <laughs> smooth, May. Real smooth. You might be asking yourself why I keep talking to these two when uh, they don't have anything important to say and I don't bother to giving them unique voices. You'll find out! Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, go smelters, right? Yeah, go smelters. Did I... Did I do everything I needed to do on top of the Snap Falcon? Um... I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. So this episode we're going to talk to B, and then uh, next time we're doing Greg. So all you Greg fans out there, I hear ya. It's coming. I just gotta take care of this event with B and I, that I don't want to miss. Drink some more kava. Alright. Hey, Germ. Hey! Wanna hang out? 
I don't know, supposed to hang out with Greg or something. Or, or B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get buried. Yes. As a matter of fact, sure. Because I'm pretty sure that won't skip the event. Okay, what do you want to do? Follow me. Here we are! In the middle of nowhere. We're here. We're in the parking lot. Yep. We walked for like 15 seconds. It's like really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. You could see all the sky here. Oh wow, you can. Yep. Pink and green. Okay, so seriously, we're just looking at a parking lot. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes in the morning, if you're up on the hill back there, a whole bunch of fog passes over the lots. And it's like an ocean. And there's a herd of deer that comes through. And it's like magic. Wow. Why did we ever need this much parking? Stores. There was the food donkey. And the one the the, the old second hand store. And the shoe store. There used to be a record store back here somewhere. Oh god now though. Yep. Just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. It's so pretty. I love it. Hmm. You know, if they never do anything with this, in a bunch of years, this is gonna be like a regular ground. Wow. Nature's old. It waits you out. That's spooky. Okay, we're done. What? Let's go. Hey. So I've been having... I have to go now. Bye. Thanks, Germ. I think she was about to say I've been having these dreams. Yeah, but Gurm's not having it. Gurm's a loose soul. He's got to roll off on the wind. I'm coming, B. Just hang on. Hi, kitty. Coo! I wonder if they'll ever make a third Hitoful Boyfriend game. I hope so. Hey, dude! Hello. I don't remember your voice. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I like refuse to unload all the rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Okay. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, top of everything else. We're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired, because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own the store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own the place now. You'd think. But also, no. I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin and material using materials and, and tools from the store than bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Uh, anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. 
So are we doing this? Uh, is tonight the night? Um, uh, I think tonight's the night. If not, then oh well, we're doing this anyway. Let's hang out. Hey, B. Hi, Bay. Hi, Gurm. Hey, dude. Gurm is helping me move stuff for under ta under the table cash. Well, knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Oh, that's right. This this uh, this isn't the event I thought it was gonna be, but it'll do. Ready to go. You got a lot of hammers! Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails! Alrighty then. He's like something out of a children's book. About whatever the hell he is. Dinner at Bees. Oh, this event's good too. I can do this event instead of the next one. It's fine. This place killed the food donkey! Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. Donkey! You sure showed Ham Panther Corp who's boss. Actually, did you know our senator is on the Ham Panther board or something? You know you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were going to hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah! You know what? Go for it, I hate shopping. Need like, a main course and two sides. Ooh, my leg's falling asleep. That's not good. I gotta breathe deeper. Take a big breath. Okay. What counts as a main course? We can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, you hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aw! I can afford a few milk groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Let's see what to get. Um, what's this one? Cream of chicken soup. No. Greeny beanies. Ah, I'll come back to that later. Tash. Suck a tash. Duck a tash. Duck a tash. Uh, I'll come back. Tasty taters. No. Mashed potatoes. No. Nice rice! Maybe. What's in here? Hmm, biscuits. Nah. Cream spinach? Hmm, no. Maybe. I don't know. Huh. Should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with meat. Hmm. Just kinda looking my looking at my options for now. I guess bakey shaky's fine. Bakey shaky and Remember those green beans. Here we go. Creamy beanies. Yes. Delish. Everybody loves greeny beanies. 
Will it let me get three things? Cream spinach? Yes. Ooh la la. Alright. Maybe grab something from the box too. Oh yeah, okay. Good point. One of each then, I guess. You could have just said one from each shelf, but whatever. Getting some nice rice. Oh yeah. Mmm boy, delicious. Yippee! I'm adequate at shopping! My dad works at the deli. We can go there for meat. Okay. Woohoo! B has joined the party for about five seconds. Maybe back together. Excuse me. Sorry, that was rude. Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you? How are you, Mr. Baraski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Just you? Oh, not always, but tonight, yeah. Worst places on earth to be. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, called greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your, da how's your dad? Alright. What can I get you, ladies? Huh. Um... <sighs> Sophie's choice, right? Well, it is for me. Um... Fish have the least intelligence. Let's go with that. That doesn't go with shake and bake at all. Oh well. Tough. Whatever's good. Dinner for three people. Not too pricey. Can do. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yeah, sure. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, eh? I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That'd be nice. Thank you. Yeah! Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone off. Oh no! Ah, the world is ending. Okay, hopefully that wasn't important because I just turned off my phone. Alright, let's get moving. Alright, ladies, let's see what all you got. Hmm, hmm, yes, okay. Well, that's interesting. Interesting? Maybe I'm just behind the times. Good luck. Alright, thanks, Mr. Baraski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, Dad. Dark ladies. I think I did better last time. That was fun. Yep. Groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Woohoo. Okay, yeah, this is actually the event I was thinking of, I think. Well, one of them. Dinner time. Um... Yeah. What? Do you want me to order a pizza? No, I got sandwich stuff. Alright. Aw, oh, did I ruin dinner? Yep, but we'll live, I think. <laughs> I don't think the fish worked out. 
I thought hey fish is okay, bakey shaky is good. Am I just bad at everything? No, just fixing things and planning meals. Those are big life skills. Did you like it? No, I agree it was very terrible. So yeah, we're all paid up until the 15th next month. Alright. That rock salt sorted? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Uh, okay, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. Think I might just get to them. Please do. You have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I, I know, but... I don't, Beatrice. Whose name is on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name is on the checks? Yours. Ugh. Dinner ain't gonna sit well. Uh, <clears throat> Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah! You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. Smelters, huh? You a fan? Not really. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, trust me, I know exactly what I'm missing. My parents watch the Smelters pretty religiously. Uh, they raised you right then. What happened? I have no idea. Okay, bye. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Your old one was like... Bigger. Messy. Really messy. Uh, I was a slob when I was a kid. Guess the boxes take care of that problem. No. Mom yelled it out at me. Moms, am I right? You are right. So I've got a question. Mm -hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? These days, not much. Uh some administrative stuff. He hires the repair guys. He sometimes goes out on jobs. That's kind of his whole area. But that's about it. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yeah. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yeah. And, and working there every day, too. Yeah. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I think you're just like selling yourself out. I'm sorry, B. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything because it's just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I'm just saying it's not right for you that you just roll over and take it. Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. Why? Ugh. What is your problem? Here's some more reality for you. You know Creek, repair guy Creek at the shop. Yeah? Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. My dad said no, then told me not to be alone with him. What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Huh? Why haven't you fired him? 
I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair ship team. This is my dad barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family. He needs to work. That's disgusting. It's not your responsibility to... I know. Don't you think I know that? I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook... Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like, badass and shit. Y you Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You are such a shithead, you know that? What the hell? Ugh, what the hell? A lot of time folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do things they do because they can't do anything else. You can always choose. Choose what? Honestly, tell me. What is my choice here? Uh, tell your dad you're not going to take this. Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do? Am I, I am seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful. That is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? Ah, uh, I don't know anymore. Like Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and pay doing payroll. You know like nothing about my life. And just know, you just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did those days. I worked a good six hours before you even woke up, probably. And come home each night after you and I were done to pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll when dad, while well, dad is asleep on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. You should go. Horrible fish. Ham Panther dinner. Fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. Football. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah. Same here. I was socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah. That's why I don't could do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah. I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking around at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you today. Lurk, lurk. Any idea what's up with Mom today? Oh, she's distressed. That's vague. <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh, no, you have that, too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So how about those crawlspace boxes? 
Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. And we're back! Great crowd in here tonight. We never leave for too long, folks. Say Garbo! Yeah, Malloy. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and puking. Or angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of the stage light and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are, around the midsection. That's a whopper. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Gerbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. <laughs> Alrighty. Nope. Nope. I want on the stairs. There we go. Make sure there's nothing going on over here. Alright. Up we go. Hey, B? You there? Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Hey, kid. Hello! Hey, yo! What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Aw, oh, why? No reason. Just happens. Maybe be going. must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh no! What about? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> Alright, dude. I'm cashing out for the day. See ya, duder! <laughs> okay, I wonder where our dreams will take us tonight. Bedtime? Yes. <laughs> oh boy, I remember this one. This one's pretty creepy. Oh. That's the front of the train. Well, we did spend a lot of time out by the tracks today, I guess. This makes more sense this time than it did last time. Whew. I find it kind of hard to breathe just having the smoke around on screen. Just the thought of smoke.
these sequences just serve as a kind of a uh, a bit of a wind down after the day, which is great because I do these at night, at least in the evening time. I'm not sure how I can get across there. No, I, I messed that up. Oh, that I managed to get I managed to get somewhere anyway. All right, that's good. Oh, that's not a solid surface at all. Alrighty, go. Boston Springs, the Apollo Country, County. There he is. Back over to here. There's that guy again. I think that might be Grandpa. I don't know, I better get a closer look at him. Got the ears right? Maybe. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be Grandpa. Oh, it's been so long since I've gotten this far in this game. Is that everybody? I think that was everybody. Find out. Uh, no, I missed one. Dang. Who did I miss? Cello player? Or whatever? Oh, this one's busted. No, it's, it's, oh no, it's not busted. Yeah, it's telling me it's over here. Alright, got it. Accordion, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow, his part's a big part of this one. Important to the song. Okay, that was another episode down. Hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, peace.